Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing some boil tests on this Batch Stove's 22 ounce ultralight cook pot. This is a, a skinny pot that's supposed to be a replacement for a Heine pot or a Foster's pot for the people that like to use them. Uh, I've been doing tests using Batch Stove's BS1 stove, but the problem that comes in is this pot is so narrow the uh, diameter of this is 3.18 inches or 80.8 .8 millimeters. So when you get something like this on here, it doesn't get very much of the bottom of the pot exposed for the flames. So we got some decent times, but I think with a smaller burner that would be hitting more of the bottom, we might be able to get a little bit faster time. Going through my stuff, I came across this stove that I did some time ago. It was a uh, an, from an axe can. It's the diameter of this is 1.36 inches, or about 34.8 millimeters. It's a little more than two inches tall. I punched eight fairly large jets into it, which I think probably failed. So then what I did was I put some fiberglass wicking in it and went on from there. I can't find my notes on this, but it's probably something that. You know, it didn't didn't go as well as I thought it would, but I want to give it a try here today. So what I want to do is get some alcohol set. I'm not sure how much this will take. I'll get my water set, <clears throat> set, and I'll be back for a test. Okay, my water's up to temperature, 60 degrees, two cups of water. This is one of the benefits of a wick type stove. You can put your pot right on it and start it up from there. Let's see what we got going here. Start that side, this side, start the timer. Now, uh, this has, I don't know if I said this, this had uh, eight jets in it to begin with. Looked like about well, fairly large holes. And it must not have worked too well, so I put fiberglass wicking in it. So now there's two fiberglass wicks and four jets in here. As this burns, the jets will come on and add for more flames. But uh, let's just let this go, see what it goes to. Here we are at two minutes. The temperature is up to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Because this is smaller flames, this isn't anywhere near as fast. The uh, side jets haven't. They're, well, the side jets, the ones that don't have the wicking in it, are just now starting to light. Uh, I was pretty sure this would be slow, but this is one that would run in the winter because cold and cold pot on top of it doesn't affect wicking. That'll light in just about anything. You'd have to freeze your alcohol for it not to light on the wick. But uh, let's just let this go and see if we do get to a boil. There we have 210, 211, 212 in 11 minutes, 29 seconds. Okay, so that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil at 212 in 11 minutes, 29 seconds. Not exactly a speed demon. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but this is where the jets are. At about five minutes they started coming out pretty well. Not as big as this, but started coming out. If I had wanted this to go faster, I guess I could have put wick, two more wicks on this instead of having the jet holes, and then it would have been heating up right from the beginning. This was one fluid ounce of methanol. The temperature in the room, room temperature is 82 degrees Fahrenheit, 27.78 degrees centigrade, 75% humidity, wet, it's uh, cloudy out and looks like it's about ready to rain any time. So I'm going to let this run and see when it runs out. And there we are going. Going. Of course, still just hanging in there. I'll wait till either the flames go out or it drops one degree. I don't know if I had mentioned, this stove weighs nine, 
what was it, 9.1 grams empty. Still the flames. It looks like the wick is out and the jets are still burning. The four jets without the wicking in it. But, uh, all right, come on, somebody do something here. This makes it to 18 minutes without dropping a degree. I'm going to call it at that. Oh, uh, well, there's it. It's 18, and it dropped a degree. So let's say run out in 18 minutes. Okay, not bad. Like I've always said, wick stoves. Now, see, it's still burning just a little bit there. But on a thermometer, the temperature's dropped one degree. Uh, I like wick stoves like this, especially in the winter when I like to go camping. They work whether it's colder than you know what or anything. But that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 11 minutes, 29 seconds, and then ran until 18 minutes. So not too bad. Uh, if I had added more wicks in these jet holes, so that would be four wicks altogether, it probably would have gone much faster. But this is just something I pulled out of my collection, some old... Uh, test subject that I was playing with but now you know going smaller always you always have to trade off somehow either you go smaller and it takes more time or you go larger and it takes less time it just seems to always be that way so this is just one idea of what you could use with this Heine pot so I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always Watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.